In this video, I'll be doing the preview for the second leg of the Champions League quarterfinals against Bayern Munich. Um, obviously, big, big game. You know, looking forward to it, kind of, but it's a bit disappointing, but still, still need to look forward to it. And, you know, the first leg was very good. But let's hope the second leg's a good game, but most important, we go through, and it's an absolutely massive game. And, yeah, maybe we'll get straight into it, starting off with the Arsenal side of things. Um, and, listen, on the weekend, just had a very disappointing result, which makes people less confident for this game, using 2-0 to Aston Villa at home. Yes, Aston Villa's a good team, and they 100% deserve the win, but it was disappointing from our point of view. People were thinking, is the you know Premier League title is over? People are thinking you know what's next for Arsenal? Are we out of it? Are we in it? You know what? Very very poor loss. Could even get a draw and two very poor poor goals, poor defending. And after a good first half, where well, you're thinking second half we can continue, maybe score a couple of goals. And the second half, um, it completely let us down, didn't it? It completely let us down. And yeah, very disappointing from Arteta, from the players, apart from Odegaard. And yeah, so very very disappointing. But we must move on very quickly, and we have a big Champions League game against the likes of Bayern Munich and then um, you know we need to we need to we need to go through because um I it's a very interesting one people are saying maybe there's not too much pressure on us because yes at home we drew but maybe um you know away from home maybe the game suits us better some people are su uh, suggesting that maybe away from home it's like a bit like the Etihad game we can sit back maybe play for penalties I I have a feeling this game might go to extra time or penalties I think it'll be super tight and um, the first goal will be crucial I think if we get the first goal we can sit back counter attack more if Bayern Munich get the first goal the crowd will be more you know more up than usual and uh, well more up as well uh, I should say and then um, yeah so it's going to be very very difficult so I think the first goal is absolutely crucial in this kind of game and uh, it'll be very very interesting to see obviously um you know how which which uh, Arsenal team turn up because if there's anything like the one against Aston Villa you know it's going to be you know very very bad but if it's something like you know the good uh, resolute defensive performances we've been putting in then I'm confident we can go through and um, obviously if we do the win to that first leg the game you can see very entertaining game actually obviously ending 2-2 um, at the Emirates Stadium you know it had a brilliant start with Bukhari Saka wonderful goal could have gone 2-0 up with Ben White and then um, obviously a very def uh, poor little mistake for us that led us back and let them back into the game and um, David Rye coming out causing confusion Gabriel with a poor pass Rice not working his man absolutely nightmare of a goal and then not after that well later after that they equalised with obviously a Harry Kane penalty and then second and then obviously they had, they had a few chances for 3-1 actually and if it's 3-1 away to the Allianz Arena in my opinion it's all about over but we do manage to you know stay settled down and then we get the 2-2 uh, penalty decision at the end in my opinion could have gone either way I'm not going to complain don't think it's a dive but maybe uh, you know not enough to be a penalty I don't know very very you know close what clo very close call I'd say and then yeah the game ended 2-2 very entertaining game and very very good game for the neutrals as well and then this game will it be as entertaining I I don't think so I think it'll be more maybe a low block I can see Bayern Munich dominating the majority of possession maybe us just sitting back a little bit again though will we maybe try to be more dominant I don't know. I can see see the game at the Etihad. I see. I think it'll be something like similar, like like that. Maybe Bayern Munich won't be as dominant, and obviously they don't have ad they have quality, but not as much quality as the likes of Manchester City because they're obviously better. But um, you know, I think it might be similar to that, and we might get more opportunities to transition, which is why I think maybe you know you want pace in the attack like Martinelli. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be a very interesting game overall. And yeah, you know, do we need to go through? I, I think we do. You know, if we can, you know, if we go through the to the Champions. League semi-finals then I think you know a little bit of negativity that the fan base is feeling right now we can uh, almost get rid of it and you know forget well not forget about the Villa game because it's going to impact our season but obviously maybe put it in the back of our minds and maybe create more positive momentum because maybe if we lose to Villa then go out the Champions League people are going to say Arsenal are crumbling again and then that game at, at Wolves is going to be even more pressure and especially if it goes to extra time or penalty so listen it's going to be a tough tough game um, and uh, yeah I'm not I, I'm looking forward to it because you know by Bayern Munich uh, Champions League uh, quarterfinals. These are the games you look forward to. And yes, the second, the first leg was entertaining, and the second leg it's going to be nerve-wracking. But I am looking forward to it. I do believe we can win in Munich. I do believe we're a better team than Bayern Munich. But as we, as we all know, in the Champions League. 
being maybe the better team isn't always the better fit or uh, always the matter. They have more experience, maybe you know their quality as well on the counter that can really help you know help them as well. Um, and both teams do have a little injury concerns. Obviously with Martin Odegaard, we don't know what's happening. They have Coleman out. I think Sane and Neuer are back. And yeah, after wait and see, of course, after wait and see. I am looking forward to the game. Let's hope it's not our last Champions League game this season. But listen, this tie could really go anyway. I wouldn't be surprised to see if we go out. But again, I do believe we can go through. So I have to obviously wait and see. And then um, obviously moving on to the Bayern Munich set of things. And um, obviously won't touch on them too much because listen, I already touched on them in the preview. I touched on their players, the manager, you know, where they are on the league table, stuff like that. Um, and no point going through all that again because, you know, nothing really has changed in a week. And um, obviously one thing that has changed in a week is that, you know, we all knew that Bundesliga, you know, title race was over, but it's now officially over by Leverkusen. I think, um, you know, on the same time actually as we lost, unfortunately, and um, they obviously won the league, uh, you know, fair play to them, but Bayern Munich, they've obviously, I think they won like 9-10 in a row, something like that before, and then um, they finally lost that streak, and you know, it's very interesting because now they obviously, if they don't go through into the Champions League, this is looking like their last hope, so that's why it's going to give them extra motivation. That's why um, when people were saying maybe, you know, oh, it's Bayern Munich, look what they're doing in the, you know, um, Bundesliga, they're not that great. I didn't really take that too seriously because Bayern Munich in the Champions League and their Bundesliga, I always thought they'd be due to, you know, different teams as well because the Champions League, first of all, they have, you know, lots of experience in that. They're going to want to go through because, for, and, you know, that's my second point as well. They obviously have nothing else to play for. If they go out the Champions League, that's it. They simply only have this competition left, whereas, you know, we kind of still have the Premier League as well. So that's why they, they might be very, very motivated. So I'd imagine they're going to do everything they can to go through. Their fans are going to be right behind them. It can be a very intimidating atmosphere. People are worried about our players. Will they maybe, you know, fall to the occasion? Will they rise to it? I don't know. It'll be a very, very interesting scenario. But Bayern Munich, we saw the quality in the first leg. You know, the counter-attack threat was, you know, absolutely sensational. I mean, you saw the likes of Leroy Sané, for example. I thought he absolutely tore us apart. And um, Bundesliga, I don't know if he's had the absolutely, you know, un unbelievable season. But Sané thought, um, especially first half, got the very, you know, better of Kiroir. I thought Sané did absolutely brilliant. And, uh, yeah, he'll be another, another big threat, Leroy Sané. We all know, um, you know, what he can do against us. They have other great players as well, as we all know. Harry Kane, you know, he, we all know where his uh, Spurs record, what he's done in the Bundesliga, but, you know, specifically what he uh, did to us at the Emirates. Scored the penalty, you know, a good, decent penalty, but overall, uh, you know, had a very good game, I thought. You know, was physically strong. His passing, I mean, his passing for a striker is genuinely unbelievable. There's a couple of times where he just little like lofts it over with a little curl on it, switches play. For a striker, his passing is out of this world. I mean, it's, it's genuinely incredible isn't it you know up there with the best passes in the world in my opinion especially with for a striker in the best you know you have the likes of um Trent De Bruyne stuff like that but as an actual striker centre forward I think Kane's got to be the best passer of the football and arguably most complete striker in the world as well so he's a massive threat as well uh, you know pretty clinical too and if he gets a chance let's hope you know our centre backs can keep him more quiet especially more quiet than what they did at the end because I thought um, Kane gave them a pretty tough time and uh, Ian Musiala as well we all know him uh, you know uh, you know, not really had a good season, but uh, not really didn't really impact the game too much at the Emirates, and he may feel more comfortable at you know at the Allianz. And um, you know, still a very dangerous player. If we do decide to be a low block team, he has the dribbling ability and to maybe you know win a penalty or just get through us and maybe create space. So Musiala, wonderful, wonderful player. I already said in the first uh, preview of the Bayern Munich game how much I love him. And I think he'll be a big threat. Wasn't as much of a threat as I thought in the first game, but second game he can easily change it. And again, he's going to be absolutely absolutely massive so listen they've loads of good players not going to go all, all, over most of them because that's what i obviously did in the other preview talked about the manager talked about everything and i thought tutro did very well against us but listen it's going to be a very very i think it'll be a good game you know i think um if you ask lots of different people i don't think there's a maybe by a minute could be classed as a clear favorite because obviously um you know they are they are um, they're more experienced than us i should say and uh, they're obviously at home and you know having or oh, it's a 2-2 draw they don't really need to be desperate to win so you know it is what it is maybe they'll feel the incentive to win because um you know being at home you have to do that and maybe in a way game might suit us more maybe um we can be a bit more relaxed hopefully we can maybe counter attack on them as i said i think the first goal will be absolutely massive if they score early in front of their fans we could be in big big trouble don't think we you know we'll get a 
humiliated like we have in recent, uh, you know, ages ago against Bayern Munich. But obviously one to go through and let's hope, you know, we can score the first goal. Again, could easily see it going to penalties or extra time and Bayern Munich being at home, you know, the Allianz Arena, how intimidating it can be. That's going to be um, a very, very tough ask. And have to win, see what we can do and what they can do. They have so many threats, as I said. They're going to be right up for it. You know, they've you know ten times more motivation being out the Bundesliga race. Uh, you know, losing the title to Leverkusen. They don't want to go a season trophy list because for their high standards, that's um, that's simply not good enough. Hence, why Thomas Tuchel is leaving at the end of the season. So that's why they're going to be crazy motivated. They're going to want to win this game, but so do we. And let's hope we can do the job. But it'd be very, very interesting to see who goes through. Very tight game, as I said. And uh, yeah, just a little summary. I've really touched on everything to be honest, but just to sum up the you know video, and um, you know it should be a tightly contested uh, affair, I'd say. By a minute with the experience, with their quality, we have qualities of our own. Yes, the confidence may be shattered a little bit because of the loss against Aston Villa. But obviously, um, you know, we can still win. I still believe we can win. And, uh, you know, will it? I, I, as I said, I think it will go to, obviously, extra time and penalties. But if we can maybe do it before that. Main thing is, I want to go through. I really want to go through. Because the semi-finals, if we get there, it'll be very, very tough whoever goes through in the other game. But um, obviously, still, I'm looking forward to the game. This is what you want to play in Champions League. Travelling to the Allianz Arena. Haven't done that what, what in however long. So, absolutely looking forward to it. Arsenal's looking forward to it. I'm sure or Bayern Munich are looking forward to welcoming Arsenal as well. Um they they obviously want to prove a point to the uh, you know home fans they've let them down you know not winning the Bundesliga title so they're going to be highly highly motivated for this kind of game and we need to do it as well we need to be solid defensively we need to make sure we can you know put a much better performance in the second half against Villa because they're Bayern Munich they listen they're experienced they're not gonna let anything slide and it'll be interesting to see what we can do I, I am looking forward to it yes you know it has been disappointing against Villa but I still believe we can go through we're gonna need to be clinical though that is one thing I would add as well actually you saw how you know we weren't clinical against Villa here don't know how many chances you're going to get at the Allianz Arena and if we do get any we need to put them away or else you're going to get punished because then the Champions League is all about efficiency but fine margins as well you get a chance you score it you know if you don't anything can happen and momentum can switch so quickly you know with the quality of the Champions League with the atmosphere everything can change and uh, yeah let's just hope our season does, uh, doesn't capitulate because again we lost to Villa we go out of this then people are looking at our season and thinking you know it's another trophy this season if we can go through it'll make the fans believe a little bit more and then maybe we'll be more motivated for the Premier League so let's hope we can go through I am looking forward to it not being you know also, I don't remember the last time we've been to a Champions League semi-finals maybe 2006 Barcelona maybe I don't actually know so I'm hoping we can do it I'm hoping we can go through but we're facing a very good Bayern Munich team in the Champions League you know it's still Bayern Munich and a very highly motivated one as well and that's very very dangerous so looking forward to the game and I think it's a very tightly contested tested affair 2-2 on aggregate so it's all to play for in Munich and let's see what happens in the game but yeah that's really it for this video guys uh, you know really didn't touch on you know you know a lot of things because mainly touched on everything uh, in the first uh, preview so you can check that out as well if you want but um, you know mainly touched on everything about the Bayern Munich side of things and it's only been a week so not too much has changed in a week so no point going over everything else again and then um, yeah so make sure you uh, you know leave a little let me know your thoughts first of all obviously let me know your thoughts are you confident for this game very interested to know what your score predictions as well me uh, it's a very difficult one I'm, I'm gonna say it goes to penalties and let's hope we win on penalties but I don't know I think it might go to penalties though so I've already given my prediction let me know your guys' thoughts as well do you think we'll go through who do you think other you know what should be a lineup as well because that's gonna be a lot you know a big top uh, talking point in the game how should we set up there's lots of things to discuss and they I think I'm sure every single Arsenal fan is looking forward to it confident maybe not because they're a great team but I'm sure everybody's looking forward to it and love to play in Champions League semi-finals and let's hope it's not our last game of the season in the Champions League and yeah so make sure you let me know all your thoughts on that and obviously watch out for the team news and predicted lineups video that will obviously be out uh, later today because you know Alteta does his press conference have to wait and see any updates on Odegaard not you know seen any as of now uh, the likes of you know Bayern Munich if anybody's out for them I think Coleman's out but I have to double check on that as well so that we make sure you watch out for that and uh, make sure you also watch out for the you know uh, make sure sorry make sure you also check out the other content I've done around the Aston Villa game if you've already seen it the life match of you talked about that game and also the player ratings so check that video out those two videos out as well but as for this one leave a like on it if you've enjoyed it subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one